So as you can see, this is the case you get with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up here. It's actually a pretty nice case. It's nice and durable. I'm kind of glad they went with that. But this is what you'll see. You'll get it uh, when you open up the box. This is what you'll get just the way you see it here. It's got a nice little uh, holder to keep the Mavic 2 in place. It has a spot for uh, three batteries here. You have a battery on the drone and you can also put three additional batteries down in the bottom here if you can see down there. Uh, here are your accessories. Uh, we do have the strobe, we do have the uh, 2400 lumen light, and we do have the speaker. So along with the accessories, uh, we have the uh, charger, we have the remote, which is the new style remote. Uh, I do like the new style remote, which is pretty nice because it has the uh, thumb uh, wheels which come off, you just screw those in there the sticks which is nice so they don't get uh, beat up or destroyed. This does come with the iPhone uh, lightning cable connector attached. It does have the other cables that come with it as well. You do get extra props. And here is the actual uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise itself. I already have taken the cover off of this uh, unit so as you can see this is where everything plugs in. Uh, there's two screws and there's a USB-C. So I can show you how these things, they simply uh, just snap right in and then you tighten these down in order to uh, keep them in place. Beyond that, uh, these are the new batteries, the self-heating batteries, which are great. It does have the obstacle avoidance all the way around on all sides. Uh, it does have the bottom auxiliary light, which is actually really nice. I do wind up using that fairly frequently. Okay, so now guys, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the drone itself a little bit. I've got it turned on using the new DJI Pilot app. So you can see up here in this top corner, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, hopefully you can, you can see where this is showing up right here. This is for the strobe. So if I hit this button right here, the strobe comes on. You can see it's pretty bright. And it's very simple to swap them out. You simply unscrew it. Once you get it unscrewed all the way, that is. Unscrew it. Swap it out. We'll just uh, put this in place just for the moment. There is the uh, the 2400 lumen light now. Give it just a second, and then it pops up. So you can see that just came on. Blind the camera there for a minute. It's uh, it's very bright actually, quite a bit brighter than I thought it was going to be. And then now we'll uh, show you the speaker. Just goes right on. Same thing. We'll go ahead and screw this down because we're going to take this outside and I'm going to show you guys uh, the speaker and how loud it is outside at multiple distances. But uh, as you can see, the speaker comes on right there. Here's where you got, you can instant broadcast, you can record. Uh, there's the volume and then you can play local audio as well if you want to uh, record as well at the same time. So as you can see here in the app, I do have the speaker on. Uh, if you're wondering, how it works, you'll tap on that button. There is where you can instant broadcast. You can play local audio if you have something recorded. I don't have any right now, but I'm gonna record something to take outside to show you guys. But you set the volume and you can record it up there. If you want to record, all you do is you tap over on any of these uh, and it'll get you to the accessories. Uh, at the bottom right here is a new menu which pops up and that is for the accessory. So I'm gonna do a quick recording uh, and then I'll show you when we go outside and we'll do this at multiple distances. Test, one, two, three, four, five. So that's what we're gonna save. We're gonna use that outside and I'll play it, uh, play it at multiple distances. That way we can actually get a, a feel for how this thing sounds outside. So as you can see, we just did the recording. So now if I go onto the screen and I hit the speaker volume here, now I can go over to play local audio. Uh, so that has changed to play local audio, so I can play that. Now I'm going to put it down to 50% because we're inside here. Test. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're outside. Uh, it's a little windy here. We're in beautiful Asheville, North Carolina. So hopefully you can hear it. I'm going to get the drone right in front. 
of the screen. So there it is. We are now showing that this is 35 feet away on the app. So let's go ahead and do it at 50%. They test. Go to 100% volume. Test. One, two, three, five. Okay. Go on the back now. This is 50 feet away now. Test. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go to 100 feet now. Just a little too far away. Let me climb up a little so you can still see it. There, there's exactly 100 feet. Test. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully you can still hear that. Now at 203 feet. Test. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can get to where we can't hear it anymore on the camera. Uh, go back from the tree a little bit. So you probably can't even see it on the screen anymore, but we are now at 500 feet away. So I can hear it myself. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but I can hear it myself, but just barely. Let's go ahead and bring it back. So another thing to note is the orientation I had the speaker in. I had it pointed almost level actually maybe even point it slightly up so now i'm going to go ahead and angle the speaker downward and we're going to go ahead and go uh straight up and see what it does uh vertically There's 23 feet away, pointed down. Test. One, two, three, four, five. Already seems louder. Let's go on up now. It's going off the screen. You won't be able to see it, but... It's at 50 feet now. I think anything over 100 feet is where I start noticing it's probably less effective. 200 feet, just to show it off. Don't think you'd ever want to do crowd control from 200 feet, but we'll show it. All right, guys, there you go. We're gonna go back inside and wrap this up. Okay, not sure if you can tell, but it's awfully dark out now. It is only six o'clock, but due to daylight savings, it's really dark out now. We're gonna take the Mavic, Mavic 2 Enterprise, take it off. So there is the bottom auxiliary light, as you can see. Yeah, there's a drone, now you can see it. Point it back at us. The lights are pointed a little bit down, but let's go ahead and turn the lights on. So you can see the difference the lights make. So 
that's the 2400 lumens. Let's turn that off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this on up. We're gonna get up to uh, auxiliary lights are no longer doing anything. We are now at 30 feet in the air. You can see what a difference that makes. It's a big difference.